Hi guys, Mr. Bean 35000 VR here, and I've got Chaddles with me. Hello. Uh, so, some of you may know that in the past I did a 100% free speed run of Crash Bandicoot 2. Well, I'm glad to say that I've improved the run with various new tricks, new hardware, and some other things. The first of the tricks you can see right now is called Walking While Talking. It allows us to skip the cortex cutscene even faster than usual by jumping and spinning before the animation begins. More of that later, definitely, though. Um, so this runs 1 hour 21 and... No, no. it's in the title. It's is 1 it? hour 20, 51. <laughs> yes, it's very good. I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Not yes. that I did it, but yeah. It is a uh, roughly 9 minute improvement over the previous run. It is not quite 9 minutes, but pretty uh, close. About 6 of those minutes come from using a PlayStation 2, in fact. Because PlayStation, PlayStation 2 Slim... PlayStation 2 Slim, we're not I'm sure that matters. It but does. Uh, <laughs> does it? Only, the, only the PS2 Slim has the fast disk speed, which oh, is what we use. Hilarious. Using. Okay, yeah, so the, the, the PlayStation 2 Slim comes with a little feature called fast disk speed, which makes the games play faster. Um, it's actually, it just reduces the loading times. It doesn't yeah. speed up the game. No, play. no, yeah, I should clarify. It's just yes. the loading times. <laughs> Very much you should clarify. I'm sorry. Anyway, before I, you go into the joys of fast disk speed, uh, we kind of missed the red gem skip there. We, we missed the entire snow go last time we commented they did this. No, we didn't. I still managed to talk about the red gem. Anyway, <laughs> so there is a method of obtaining the red gem early by doing a jump from the floor, glitched high jump with body slam. Uh, if you want to put, if you want to give it a very detailed name, uh, it gains just enough height to get the red gem as it is moving downwards uh, in its little up and down animation, which most people don't even know it does. So there you go. There's about three different ways to get that. One of them's with the seal, and one of them's with the box to the side. There's, there's lots of different ways of doing it. Yeah. But, uh, Either way, you're not supposed to do any of them. So no. So you're not, you're not supposed to get red gem on first pass of snow go at all. This is most quite, people already know this, but this is quite the invalid passive. Yeah. Go. <laughs> it was fast though. It Very was, fast. I like it but as an opening. It was pretty good. At the end of the level as well, I got uh, some, not, managed to knock some seals into uh, the final boxes as well. Which is a bit random, but it worked this time. Yeah, it's sometimes it's sometimes a bit tricky. Anyway, this is now quickly catching up with the run. Yeah. <laughs> which is even harder since we've got no loading times to work with anymore. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> um, this is Turtle Woods. Now. The aim of the game, for those of you who have not seen it before, not played it before, just watching on my YouTube for the first time or anything like that, uh, the aim of the game is to get the 25 purple crystals that you see across the levels. The crystals are in obvious places. However, there is more to this game than that. Uh, since this is a 100% category, we also get the, what are known as the, ge as the gems. And the gems are awarded for various different things. The gems can be gotten for either... They're sometimes sat in the open in a hidden area, which is kind of a contradictory statement, but here we are. <laughs> but you also get one from every single level for breaking all of the boxes. However, this level, and it is unique in this fact, if you go through the level breaking zero boxes, you are awarded a special coloured gem. Much like the red gem that you saw before, only this one is blue. And, and this flat. is the only level which does this. The game is very sort of... It encourages you to try random things, really, and explore. Um, so... What we did at the end there, or what you know, what Mr. Bean did at the end there, uh, I didn't, um, was Death Warp. So we got the blue gem and then immediately fell into a hole. That wasn't accidental. Um, yep. That's just to stop going back to the warp room because, in fact, it is faster to die and go back to the start of the level because you've respawned than it is to go back to the warp room. And yes. amazingly, the game lets you keep the blue gem. Yes, it lets um, you keep all the collectibles, and this will be a recurring theme throughout the run. Once I go down to the end of a secret passage where I obtain my gems or whatever, I will just walk straight back out. The only thing you think you lose from a death are your boxes that you've gathered since the previous checkpoint, a life, and uh, some time, depending on whether it was accidental or not. Yeah. But that's definitely faster than going back to the warp room, reloading level, etc. Indeed. So anyway, this first level has got an awful lot of secrets because we've just emerged from a whole an entire secret area for those who are... Savvy enough to body slam on our face on the floor. These bonus rounds appear in the game as well. Um, yeah, they're bonus little, little uh, sections with boxes in. You have yeah. to do them to get the gem. You would skip them if you didn't need the gem. Yeah. But basically, what the, bon what the bonus rounds are for, these, those bonus rounds where it has bonus flashing, flashing across the top of the screen, they're mainly places where you can test crash mo Crash's moves and stuff like that in an environment where you can't lo lose lives, which is all very well and good for your average gamer. <laughs> not very... I'm not too keen on them, though, because obviously I'm not your average gamer. <laughs> Speedrunner. <laughs> the life counter is not the threat in a speedrun, it is the clock that is the threat. Crash Bandicoot 2 is what we would generally term as an easy game, if you take your time with it, but the moment that time becomes a factor, it becomes a rather hard oh, game definitely. to play. The other thing of note, which has been going on all the time, is the movement technique. Yes. Um, it'll I will be, have to explain that to you. It'll be particularly apparent in this next level, because he's running away from something, That's and the something right. will be moving Crash at about the speed 
but he should be moving at, and you're going to be running away a lot faster than that. Yes, what um, our movement, well, my movement technique is called the neutral slide spin. I sometimes call it the full speed slide spin. Basically, it is about 1.8 times as fast as just running through a level normal. So you can see this boulder is just becoming smaller and smaller on the horizon. Yeah, that's that boulder is supposed to move at the, basically the same speed as Crash, and Crash is just totally destroying it. To do a neutral uh, to do a neutral slide spin, what you do is first of all you uh, do a slide in the direction you want to go, and before the slide ends, you release the D-pad button or analog stick, and then press spin. And if you do that, your uh, your spin will carry over the sl uh, the sliding speed. If you're holding the button down, that doesn't happen. Now I must wait for a moment here because this game follows the policy of if it isn't on screen, it didn't happen. And, what uh, that means is, if the nitros are off screen when the boulder crushes them, it didn't crush them. Yes. So I have to stand around there for a moment and take a look. Now, how many of you break your boxes like this? This looks so dangerous and it's so cool. <laughs> I really like that move. It's not. It's nowhere near as hard as people make out it to be. It looks uh, like it is. Sword of Seals, I'm looking at you. Uh, <laughs> but... Basically, you just if you've got the correct positioning, it can rarely ever go wrong. So it's all the other sneaky thing that's going on in this level, that's, there's so many subtle things that make this speed run so fast, but one of the sneaky things is the animation skips. So yes, normally yes. what happens is when Crash gets into them little huts at the end of each boulder section or the end of the level, he like rolls over and sighs with relief and stuff. But if you jump up and down and press enough buttons <laughs> as he's doing that... I just do a slide spin chain, to, but uh, basically it skips the animation altogether. So it is rather nice because each roll costs about four to five seconds, so it is imperative to skip them, especially when you're going for very fast times. It doesn't matter so much if you're new to the game and all that business, but I'd like to encourage more speedruns of Crash 2. Absolutely. It is a very fun game to run with the neutral slide spin and all that business. There's just so many little tricks I'm going to be explaining more over time, obviously. Now, this level is Hang 8. In this level, they introduce what is known as a timer gem. Now, timer gems appear in only two levels in this game, Hang 8 and Plant Food. And basically, what the goal is, is to beat the clock to the finish line. Yeah. And if you get to the end portal before the clock has run down, uh, you will get awarded a spare gem. Now, because I'm cocky, I choose to break a pile of boxes instead of immediately going to uh, go to the end. I've got to say, as a normal player who's played this, the timer gem is so harsh, it is so difficult to get to the end of the level in time if you're not doing all of this crazy stuff. Yeah. You may have noticed, though, since I've broken that second checkpoint, I stopped breaking boxes on purpose so I can proceed to get the gem. The reason for doing this is because uh, I've got a bonus round to do immediately afterwards. And if you do the bonus round, you, it would cost you too much time and you probably wouldn't get the, the timer gem. Yeah, it's, a, it's unnecessary risk for, what, for not a lot of time save, effectively. The, ti the timer does continue in the bonus round, it's just invisible. So if you can make it to the end of the level without Oof. dying... You almost got eaten there. I know, I, I, I got lucky there. That was rather, it was a poor jump that I did. Uh, it was a glitched high jump to skip doing a pile of nonsense. And I just, just slide in midair, which is the best thing ever. I like doing slides in midair. How do you recover from these things? Like when, when, you, when you see yourself jumping next to a plant and everything going wrong around you, I mean, do you have a set way of... Spin or jump, just try and try to regain my position effectively. Now, here is the introduction of coloured gem platforms. So you know how I've obtained two coloured gems. I've got a red one and a blue one. These are really rare. Basically, there's only five of the coloured gems in the game. And they're in the first two levels, two of them. <laughs> yeah. Basically, these enabled these coloured platforms, which lead to more gems. Typically, in this case, I've already gotten a secret gem from this level. But so this area is just filled with boxes. So, in order to get the box gem, you have to come here and clean this, out, clean this area out as well, which is quite tricky. Another recurring theme is that exclamation mark box. You, yes. These, these turn these wireframe boxes solid so you can break them. Yeah, that's, what, that's how these work. Now, these set, sets of jumps can be quite tricky to do. Uh, fortunately, we came off without a hitch, a hitch here. I'm and you time those mines, don't you, so that it'll be in a nice configuration. As, best, as best I can. It's a bit awkward, you know, but if I can do it, then it's all right. So, yeah. Returning from the blue gem, the platforms take a while to move, but you know that's actually fine with me because it gives me a moment to regroup and think about what I'm doing. Because <laughs> there's a lot of stuff goes on. You may have sure noticed is. that there's we've got no cutscenes going on. We've got walking while talking for the brief periods that there would be cutscenes. So the thing about speedrunning this game is, it's literally an hour and twenty minutes of just solid play. You don't, you've got three you don't get to, loading time. You don't really get to hang around and have a break. And I improvise my own breaks in this, and you will see as the run goes on <laughs> some of the places where I blatantly do not do a thing. <laughs> So this well, this exit, and this is one of the few that you can do this on, you can actually get onto it with a slide without needing to jump. 
Uh, there, there are more of these portals in the game. I only know of one other, but similarly, I we I found one and then forgot where it was, so I need to find it again <laughs> at some point. Basically, any time spent in the air is time lost, uh, because uh, we when you when you're jumping, you're back down to your running speed again. Uh, now, also, you're gonna notice that some of the movement coming up after oh, it is a little bit from here, but. Uh, oh yes, let me talk about this TNT. This TNT is un unusual. If you sit, set it off and then go off screen, it will blow up all of the boxes there. But if you watch it, it doesn't. Really weird. Yeah. The um, game has a separate concept for what happens on screen and what happens off screen as far as TNTs are concerned. Yeah. So anyway, there was a bit of silly movement just before that checkpoint. That's because, as you might have gathered, constantly repressing buttons to get to uh, move around. I barely ever. I, I really, I really button. do admire, you know, having having watched you live doing this movement technique. It really is incredible that people can keep it up for so long because it is such a difficult technique. It's to... very precise. Anyway, there's a bit of a root change. If you saw the previous run, basically, this is the faster method of doing these two passageways. At the time of the creation of the previous run, I didn't know this. Uh, but this is the fastest known route. You double back up this passageway right here. Official because fastest. <laughs> because there's an awful lot in the way, basically. And we just surge back here. I know there's a turtle now, on the left. I know there's a turtle on the right. The evil thing about this passage for a normal gamer is that a normal gamer wouldn't have to do both of those passages for the gem. But if they were just interested in the crystal, you would have to know to go down the left passage. I mean, you could perfectly legitimately, as a normal player, Missed come to this crystal. level, decide to go down the right passage, get all the way to the end, and think, where was the crystal? I get the feeling that that was partially intended as well. Definitely. Anyway, so this bonus round has also seen a couple of changes. Uh, let me demonstrate here a TNT spin. Those are good. And those are always fun. They always look so lethal. They're not. They're really easy to do. You just spin and jump when you hit to click the TNT and it's gone. Uh, those bo those boxes can only be broken with a body slam. I think that's the first time we've seen those. Uh, mm -hmm. So what's new here is that I now do a 3D jump around there. Which is kind of cool, you got to admit. Yeah. Um, 3D jumping. Basically, these 2D-esque environments are obviously not 2D. And so Crash is still moving in 3D normally. And that means we can jump towards the camera. And, and then you can curl around obstacles. Crash this is really obliging, because if you change direction in the air, he'll just do it. So. Yeah, he's pretty good. The jumping, the jumping mechanics in this game are quite strange by comparison to the other Crash games, but they work quite well. Uh, and wow, there goes the pit. And, uh, <laughs> this is Warp Room 1. <laughs> that was all of the levels of Warp Room 1 just taken care of there. Now, I've got, and now uh, coming up next is the worst boss fight in the game. Oh, absolutely. This, is, this guy's terrifying. Yeah. This guy is known, well, when we got up there, which doesn't take long, the guy, this guy is known as uh, Ripper Roo. He's a bit of an ex explosions enthusiast, you might say. But it turns out right that his explosives uh, aren't all that dangerous. No, I mean, he's quite predictable. Um, he lays them in a set configuration. The TNTs really, really don't matter. Uh, the <laughs> nitros just don't step on them. Um, Not too difficult. And when he blows himself on the nitros, all you've got to do is give him a whack and everything's good. And then you can bounce on his head. Which is a new fun little trick, but and just also, to prove a point. Yeah, these TNTs are not dangerous. I body slammed on it and I spun twice and, you know, it didn't go What anywhere. more could you possibly do? And now I switch on my analog stick for the first time in the game because I use D-pad. Uh, just to do this. It's, I think it's an impor imperative part of the run. This oh, part absolutely. of the fight. I've got to walk from there to there. Little little casual wobble as he blows himself up. And I get back on his head just to bounce around some more. In the third phase, I like to try and stay on his head. Oh, so this is you characterise as one of your breaks. Yeah, this is this is easy. <laughs> this is just if I really wanted to, I could just go into the safe spot and wait. But you know, there's no point in doing that. I might as well stand around, dance to the music. Absolutely. Mess around with his TNT. So for those who don't know, the basic point of the game is getting them crystals. Um, it basically, you get access to five levels at once, then you do a boss, and then you get the next five levels, and there's 25 levels in all. Correct. Plus 25 crystals. And then you beat the final boss, and it's all over. Yeah. After the big plot twist of the game, where, where, where Cortex is evil. I hope it didn't spoil it. for anyone. No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Turns out, right, that the bad guy from the first game is it's the bad the, guy in the second, second game. game. Yeah. Not to mention, of course, that we don't see Cortex at all over the course of the run, apart from his uh, yes, <laughs> every uvula in the beginning. <laughs> every every uh, cutscene is skippable, so I'm afraid if you were watching for the game story... Uh, <laughs> you're, you're, you're missing that. But Basically, yeah. Cortex tries to trick Crash into getting the crystals, and he doesn't... Well, he does get the crystals, and then he... Anyway! New it. strats again! Yeah. Ooh, look, Basically, jumping. Basically, yeah... Uh, the previous time that I came to this level, uh, in the previous run, 
I used to say that the polar bear levels are a nice break. Well, <laughs> things have entirely changed, basically. It has been discovered that the, that the fastest movement technique on the polar bear is to do the charge launches in rapid succession one after another without letting the charge go very far. So basically, the new level strike is to leap everywhere. It looks kind of cool, you got to admit. It looks kind of cool, uh, but so much can go wrong with it. If one of your charges doesn't go off, you'll jump into an enemy. If one of, you, if you, one of your jumps doesn't go off, you'll charge into the enemy. And how much time would this save on the previous run, do you think? Five seconds, perhaps, but it's still worth having, isn't it? Oh yeah, five seconds is a lot. Yeah. So, it's still got, it's going by very quickly. Uh, there are seven boxes in this level that I control. We've all passed up four of them. They don't troll that much, so I'm not going to talk about them. The next ones are the ones up ahead. These mm -hmm. boxes, uh, regular gamers, speedrunners, we all find them hard to get. Uh, I often have to reset over those boxes. Fortunately, it was not the case today. And I was much relieved to get out of Warp Room 1. You have no idea how long I spend in Warp Room 1 trying to go places. And yeah. just having stuff go wrong, and then or, and then randomly I get that nice run of what we want, come through, and then lose it in barracks. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah. These runs are... The runs were done uh, live on uh, Twitch TV. There we are. Yes, link. yes, um, I've got... My link will be about. up. You'll, you'll be able to see just how many... If you can watch, you'll see how just how many times it, that of resetting it requires to get one of these We've, we've counted 1,700 and something <laughs> attempts. Since I've got um, a time on stream. Anyway, I think I need to... Uh, talk about this level because uh, unfortunately oh yeah very early into this run uh, my first accidental death is in this level this time unbelievably unfortunately I can't I uh, don't have a death in this run for you all I still have mistakes in here they are just few and far between I mean in an hour and 20 minutes it's very hard to do everything no perfect. mistakes especially considering how specific some of the tricks in this game are now the reason I didn't reset and you're about to see where I die in a minute it's just beyond here I get a checkpoint I leap over this first hole and miscount slice bits. I'm supposed to do one and then a slide jump instead of plow into the hole. Why didn't I reset? Well, I already you know, the opening was strong. It was much better than the uh, previous one that I was working against. Uh, and the death was short. It was right after a checkpoint. I'd only leapt over one hole. So I thought, it, I thought for the sake of for the sake of argument, I might as well keep going and see how the run turns out. You know, Which it's was a worth good thing while. I did, you know. Definitely. <laughs> anyway, it's going to be a while since you next, until you next see a death, so... That's good. It should be all right. And the death cost overall eight seconds, was Yeah, it? something like eight seconds, which is nothing in the great scheme of things. I can lose eight seconds to moving poorly, so... Yeah. And gain it back just as easily. So, the Crash Crush bonus round is pretty cool. Uh, you can do this nifty little slide onto these boxes here, which just sticks you inside of them and throws you to the floor. That looks dangerous. It is. It sometimes goes wrong and you just slide into a hole. <laughs> I did it because, obviously, I died. I wanted to save as many frames as I could, effectively. Now, I have a bit of difficulty picking up this crystal, <laughs> and then I have a bit of difficulty breaking these boxes. Oh, Other shame. than that, we're having a good day. It's, it's quite, When I get that box break right, which I think I did in my 129.39, it looks yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. So if you want to see it done right, have a watch of that one. <laughs> Anyway, the end section is painless, you know, you just slide spin through, jump over these holes All here. them boost panels are there because you have to do a body slam here. Yeah. And so as a regular player, it would roll them much about Not the same speed of you. It's dangerous, <laughs> but obviously Not no trouble problem. here. I have to wait for that gem as well. It actually takes its time falling on my head. So I have to sit there for a moment like a pansy and uh, pick it up. So that's Crash Course Complete. Not entirely pleasing because of the death, but otherwise. The opening was nice, so I'm quite happy with that. The next up is the, the evil deal. Now, Eel Dealer is quite cool. Uh, it can load in one or two configurations, a good configuration and a bad configuration. Uh, today I get the bad configuration. It's not a problem, it just means I can't uh, I have to jump over electric water instead of doing slide spins through it, which is the faster movement trick. Also, I swear the fan blade should have nobbled me, but it did By now they really should have done, but yes. Yeah, well, never mind. Uh, <laughs> I'm quite oh happy. Well. Oh well. So. This Here's level contains the next secret. colored gem. Yeah. yeah, so this is the green gem. Uh, so at the back of this room of nitros, oh my gosh, the wall isn't solid. Uh, who knew? <laughs> uh, seriously, who knew? Because that's so so obscure, but hey ho. Um, and basically, by completing this passageway, which is not too hard, you'll find that the green gem is just sat at the end. I accidentally murdered all the enemies, I want a death wolf, and I murdered them off. <laughs> then I just don't. Unfortunately, the electric water cycle was there, so I was just able to kill myself in that. Death wolf back to the checkpoint, proceed on a merry way. So, one thing that I used to forget to do is come back here for this box, because this box just waits down the right split, waiting to, yep. uh, waiting to leave you with 78 out of 79 at the end of the level. That rat likes exploring the ceiling nowadays, it's just been doing that a lot recently. He doesn't usually do that. <laughs> Obviously you put him in that config. 
Yep. Anyway, so this bonus round, uh, you get to do some more sliding onto the tops of boxes, which is all very fun. When you slide here, you just kind of merge Vaguely kill yeah. them all, yeah. And if you do a slide here with Wiggle, and I'll have to explain Wiggle, or zigzag in a bit, you can make that platform with a slide, which is pretty cool. Yeah, just, yes, that's quite specific, you sometimes don't get that. Yeah. Oh yeah, if you're wondering about my level order, just out of, uh, just out of curiosity, uh, my level order is based on the mask that is following me right now. His name is Aku Aku, and he protects me from damage. Now, if you get... Uh, when you have one Aku Aku, you are strong to one hit. When you have two, he goes golden, and you're strong to two hits. When you have three, he goes even more golden, attaches to your face... Starts and, flashing. ...and makes you invincible for a while. Wouldn't that... It, now, that's absolutely peachy, except for the fact that it makes neutral slides spin the slowest move of the game. So, I don't want to go into third mask form, because it doesn't save any time. So amazingly, a feature of the game that was supposed to make you go faster is actually slower than what a speedrunner can do. Well, I'm not sure it was it's deliberately supposed to make you go faster. I mean, the slide's primarily purpose is to uh, break boxes and enable you to jump higher, but... But even so, I mean, it's a bit weird. <laughs> but yeah, we're using it as a movement technique in general, so we don't really want to be going into an invincible form and losing it. So However, later in the run, we will go invincible, but there's a good reason for that. We'll explain when we get there. Yeah, so the short and long of it is that... The masks, you have to make sure that you never have more than two when you're about to make a box. Exactly. So that's why my level order is as it is. It's circulating around giving me the most security when I need it and making sure that I never go invincible. Making sure that I don't have to think, oh, blimey, I need to get, lose one of these masks. So, this level is perhaps one of my favourite levels. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, it's always nice when the run rolls around to this point because it's quite far in and... Uh, we're going to have a look at the second colored gem platform, which is this the most one I love. Is this second red, <laughs> the, the red gem of snow gold Easter here. Now this section, you would think, considering how difficult it is, would contain a gem. It does not. It contains a lot of boxes though. So we've got to go here. So the idea is that you can't get the box gem from this level without getting the red gem from snow go first, and you're not supposed to be able to get the red gem from snow go without air crashes secret exit. Anyway, it's not much of a sequence break, so. Anyway, this route is particularly cool when it's done right. This is going all right so far. There's a lot of cool tricks. Spinning these boxes quickly and then spin these TNT and then spin these TNT. <laughs> Just looks so dangerous. I, I like to live a life on the edge, mate. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, so... After a pile of curl size and whatnot, you come to this section, which is just awesome. Uh, you don't need to worry too much about breaking those boxes but, uh, on the first pass, but it's a bit messy if you... I know, I know. Slide plane chains are difficult, man. <laughs> I, try, I do my best with you them. Stop at the most inconvenient moments. Well, I know. Sometimes it's fatal. That time it was not. Yeah. But as I discussed, he's got two masks, here. so it wouldn't be fatal anyway. Yeah, i just get hit on the head, which wouldn't be very good because it's a long animation. You can skip the icicles by doing full speed slides, but you're That's normally supposed to wait they for, are. The, yeah. for the icicles to fall down. Yeah. But that and is a lovely segment there you of go. the platform. <laughs> that, is, uh, that is one of my favourite parts of the entire game on the section. And such great music. Indeed. <laughs> so back on the main level, if you uh, do a slide spin where you start your slide on ice, then uh, even, though if you, even though I've moved onto the snow, it still counts as ice for that little like, extra duration of time. Which is a little bit time-saving because your fastest movement is a slide spin I mean, on, the it on the ice. Look at the ice is just so fast. Indeed. Look at it go. <laughs> no <laughs> stopping it. Three, three boxes in that secret area there. Well, it's not exactly a secret area. This bonus round, it can sometimes kill you for no good reason when you try and enter it. Uh, today, it did not, which is nice. Uh, it has been in the past. It's done it on runs that I've succeeded before as well. So, it's a bit of a shame when it happens. Yeah, basically, you fall too fast and the game thinks you've fallen down yeah. a hole. Also, than... this box. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time, buddy. Now, this is deliberate use of the mask there. Yeah, because I'm, I because there is one more mask in this level, so uh, I need to get one, rid of one somewhere. That saves quite a bit of time, so uh, we, I deliberately throw it away there so I can go and get my second mask here. Otherwise, you'd have to wait for that TNT to blow up the boxes after a short delay, so that'd be annoying. Indeed. And having two masks here is not crucial, because there is one really early into the next level, so I just decided to take some damage there. The next level is an unusual one, so it doesn't matter whether I have this mask or not. You will see, because I'll just change what uh, I just change what movement I do based on uh, how, many, how many masks I have at the time. 
Because basically we were about to enter Air Crash, and Air Crash is the only level in the game that we have to visit twice for a full purpose. This is just because of how much random secret stuff it has. Yes, it has a secret got, entrance, a it has secret a secret entrance. exit, it has a death, death gem, gem, and uh, well, a death route to accompany it. That's a new feature as well, I'll have to talk about that. Oh yeah. Basically that mask box is there. I don't need boxes because I can't get the box gem right now. So basically if I had two masks I'd just jump over it. No problem. Anyway, after a bit of silliness, on the land. silliness I managed to get on here. Uh, I'd like to keep at least uh, one of these two masks all the way to the death route. Uh, regrettably, that was not to be, however, it's okay. There is one more mask outside the death route. I don't get this checkpoint, you'll see why in a little bit. Uh, so, first of all, I need the crystal, and unfortunately, those platforms decide to go down, so I kill a pile of fruit in rage and wait for <laughs> back. Pick up a mask here and go on in. So, this platform. Uh, it's another sort of let's let's add in another pointless secret feature to make people spend hours and hours of their <laughs> life doing this game. Um, it only appears if you haven't died yet this run of the level. Yeah. So from the time you came into the level to getting to that point, you cannot have died. Correct. Um, and you, then the moment you stand on it, it's yours forever. Yeah, and it, it locks, and you've got it. Well yeah. done. But uh, it, it's an odd little one that one. Yeah. And then you have to do this really tough section anyway. It's quite short actually. Uh, I always need one mask for it. I can't complete it without one mask, so. And that gets you that secret gem. Yeah, You're supposed no, to then exit, need... but we have more business. There is more business in this level. This is what we call a secret exit. And basically, if you decide to do this and end up over here, it wipes you out. So this is even now, another crazy feature that why not add something else so into where it are we going? no child will ever complete this. <laughs> well, well, this is Warp Room 6. And as you can see, it's got the level 2 snow going in. Now, what's this about, you may wonder? Well, this is the way you're supposed to get the red gem. You're supposed to go in here and then go fetch the red gem from here. Uh, however, however, we don't need to bother since we already got it. Hooray! So we just leave. But I have to open the portal because it adds 1% to the counter. There are two portals that you can skip via glitch, uh, and by skipping them you will be able to complete the game with 98%. However, while that, while that does fine. net you the best end, it is not 100%. So, I, I deliberately opened the two secret exits, which cost a little bit of time, just so it is absolutely 100%. Anyway, boss number two. Yeah, uh, this guy's a little bit These trolly. guys. Yeah, whatever. There's two of them, clearly. Oh, okay. The guy in the middle is not really... He's throwing knives. He's dangerous. Look at him. Woof. Dangerous. Look at me dance. Uh, in, the, the in, moves, in, man. in the beta version of the game, um, <laughs> th these these guys are so much harder. Like, it's yeah. untrue. They, they can't them outrun them so with full speed spin. Um, they've been weakened, they're, they're like little babies, but anyway, the idea is, when this guy stops spinning around, you give him a thwack, and uh, he bounces into the big guy, and uh, there That does go. damage somehow. No, I, and now, because uh, I'm totally scared of these guys, I put my controller down. Yeah. And, uh... Turns out right that he does a set sequence, so you can just sit here. And he only goes three quarters of the way around the arena. <laughs> so there's literally no need to dodge him whatsoever. It's, it's, why not? That's the Crush's idle animation, I'm demonstrating a lot of things. <laughs> anyway... The amount of time it takes this guy to stop spinning uh, is seemingly random. I think it can be manipulated, but I failed to do it miserably here. He just decided he was going to... Keep spinning. Yeah, he was doing his fabulous dance routine. Finally he stops, so I knock him out. It's unfortunate because that actually wasted quite a fair amount of time over the, over the run that I had previously, but not a worry. Uh, where, where, is, where are you dancing, Crash? <laughs> <laughs> you see, I like to put Crashes on in the usual places in the dances, and you will see... Oh yeah, more, definitely. More afterwards. Anyway, coming up next is Road to Ruin, which is the bane of my existence. Especially... Sometimes affectionately known as Run is Ruined, because it's so uh, horrible. Anyway, I've changed the route. I did what I said I would never do, and you'll see soon just how much this level has changed since the previous one. Well, first of all, jump number one. This is how we jump. Uh, this is how we get it, uh, into the secret entrance early. We can use this to get the 32 boxes that are hidden here. You're supposed to go to that secret walk room to get to these boxes, yeah. but you can no, do it thank by you. a let's, nice long jump. Let's not have to physics a level. I accidentally burned myself. That's fine, because I had mask. Uh, that's one of the reasons I like to try and keep this mask and bring it in here. It's just in case I accidentally misjudge this, because I'm usually nervous by this point. <laughs> uh, some of the, one of the single hardest jump of the game is about to appear. So, after hitting this checkpoint, uh, go forwards. This part of the level is pretty easy. Now, what's supposed to happen is... You see this death route platform here? I'm going to stand on it. But I'm actually not interested in going to the death You're route. You're supposed anymore. to go into that to get in the gem. However, new strats. Unfortunately, two deaths are about to occur in rapid succession. Death there, is a, there is a huge jump that you can do here. Not like that. You do have to jump. Yeah, <laughs> Let's have please. another go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. We the second you. jump, my thumb slid off my controller, <laughs> and I fell. 
doesn't look like he can make it though. It is a, it is a very difficult jump. On the third attempt, I get it. The last, the last chance. Basically, in order to do this, you must do a slide, jump off midair, and then rapidly rock the controller back and forth. So Crash does this mad wiggle in the air. <laughs> For some reason, that which is known as zigzagging to the community, but I call it wiggle because it's wiggle. <laughs> he clearly would. It increases your it increases your speed and lateral distance. It is faster to wiggle jump everywhere. Which is so I kind of implement it where I can, but unbelievable. But yes, anyway, I that, need it there for that jump. That, that is a horrible jump. That jump Don't is try that absolutely home, insane. It really is. I hate um, it. Despite <laughs> the two deaths there, it, it is saves faster time over than doing the death, death route. route. So that is still worth. And here's something else that's new. We do this jump. You can skip that puzzle as well. That also is quite a tricky jump. And then just because I can, I mess up the rest of the bonus round. <laughs> So this was a good level. <laughs> but anyway, I'm very pleased that I managed to pull off the jump in the first place. Absolutely. All three of them have happened eventually. Yeah. Um, that, and the, the, dying in that jump towards the gem doesn't cost too much time. You could really do it about four to five times without losing any time over the death route, so it is a time save. What's the overall time loss to the run, would you estimate, of those two mistakes? Uh, 18 seconds, perhaps. If I say about nine, but... Now, I don't know what happened there. That caused me to lose my final last and just made road to ruin. Uh, pilot track. You can slide onto this end portal too, and I couldn't do that, so that's good. <laughs> oh well. Let's we're not out, speak don't of this worry. level again. Never uh, mind. We now, still love you. I am disgraced that I did not manage to keep my mask, uh, because the mask is particularly useful for plant food. There are some mines in the very beginning, uh, after a board, uh, boarding a water board, that uh, caused me all sorts of problems. Uh, if they had, we wouldn't have this run, so evidently they didn't. <laughs> Anyway, this level is pretty fun. Uh, I did a pile this of, level is dangerous. I did a pile of risky jumps today. Like this it, is a slide oof. wiggle jump as well, and That's so is that. So dangerous, so dangerous. We'll just get over here. Anyway, the second and final time my gem is in this level. Got one minute twelve to clear the level. Again, it's almost get a gem. impossibly hard for normal players. Will be made to look really, really easy. Don't try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> and I can get some boxes while I'm here. If you're trying to do this at home, do not stop and get the boxes. Just yeah. go. You do not have time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So I'm checkpointing here, because that saves time on a death walk. Uh, it might be possible to do this bonus run and go to the next checkpoint. Uh, just, I, I will at some point. Because I seem to have a fair amount of time on my hands, it just depends whether it's... The reason why this one appears even more generous than the last one in the speed run... Um, is because of how difficult is because, this is. Well, it's because of how you're supposed to do it. So I damage boost here. What's going to happen is there's, two, there's I get three hit by plants a plant and then two. Here. It's supposed to be impossible to get through them, but if you've got a mask, you can just take the damage and just go straight through. Which is nice because now I can clear this gem with 17 seconds before. And what do you know? It's coloured. It's yellow. Just to mark how difficult the challenge is supposed to be. Die to a nitro to go back to that checkpoint and okay, carry on. Now, now it's time to clear out all of the boxes. <laughs> Never done. Yep. I tried to spin the plant and miss. I spin that one though, which is unusual, and then well, managed but... to walk onto the platform without jumping, which saved a little bit of time. Also, fun glitch there. You notice the TNT counted as a bonus box, yeah. the one he broke outside. And here are new strats in the bonus round. For those of you who remember, I said, I don't know what to make of this bonus round. Well, that's what I make of this bonus round now. I use spin slide to clear the bonus round, which is the art of doing a spin across some suspended boxes and then immediately sliding to uh, be able to jump. Or in that case, I just slid into the next set of boxes without jumping at all. Anyway, I play that a little bit safe because I want to keep this mask deliberately to the next level, which is sewer or later, but we're not there yet. Somehow this plant pushed me off the line to hit the box. I hadn't even noticed I missed it. <laughs> so I was taken a little bit by surprise when I came back and saw it. But I didn't waste any time breaking it because I kind of... I seem to remember saying, oh, I didn't break that and just spun and it broke. So that was good. Handy. Uh, unfortunately, I managed to leap Ooh. past that, so I'm not sure what Straight happened lines. there. But never mind. Straight line is a difficult one. But uh, that was not a bad plant food overall. Uh, that kind of movement mistake is fairly commonplace. We can we can get over it. It's not as bad as dying, you know. With all the mistakes out, what do you think the time of this run would be? If we eliminated all the mistakes, we'd be looking at a 119 time of some description. I'm not sure if it'd be 119 flats, just under or slightly over. It'd just be around that vicinity. So there's not that many mistakes in this run. There really are. So coming up next is sewer later. You see, I've died three times actually so far over the course of this run. There are only five accidental deaths. Two of them were just the road to ruin job. Yep. And there's only two more to come. So, then not in this level. This uh, sewer later, I managed to get a nice enemy snipe here. That's what I was actually saving the mask for, was to bypass that enemy. So, getting a snipe by hitting the other enemies into him saves that, so I just used it on the nitro instead. There are tons of masks in this level. Damage boosting is commonplace. Here comes the yellow gem route, which we don't see any of hardly. It's pretty easy. This is a new little trick, just running along the tops of those boxes is pretty fun to do. 
if you just spin at the right time, it lets you stand on them. Yeah. So I've got so I've got the German immediately to get out of there. There's no point in doing the rest of that little passageway. Uh, there are no boxes in it. I need to come back up here. So go through here. If you look at Crash now, it looks like his legs are embedded in the floor. They're nice. not. That's just an incorrect rendering. I'll wait for that guy. He's the only one I will wait for. Yeah, then flamethrower guys are really annoying because they're you their hitbox is so huge that you, you can't, can't get past get past them without taking damage. So the tall assisted one can get past some yeah. of them. But even the tall assisted one can't get past them all. So anyway. Uh, this bonus round is uh okay. Uh, the only times that this go the time that this really goes wrong is if some of the boxes accidentally suck you in these metal boxes. When you jump up to the top of them, the they, you can get stuck. The boxes bouncing on top of nitros look so dangerous. They though. are. <laughs> I just uh, you just have to go with them, you know. There's not yeah. a lot you can do. You can just stand in a position where you can break two at once is a good way to do it. Uh, so I I have two masks. Uh, there's a mask coming up ahead, so I go through the fan, try to avoid damage, don't manage it. So I just do a quick spin there to get rid of one of the fan blades, and then jump at a specific time to get through. That puts me back up to two masks, which is good. Because what I want the masks for after triggering this uh, exclamation mark box, which triggers boxes on this split here, I don't want to wait for this guy, so I jump and spin into him with my mask. He does to kick you back something awful. Yes, though. if you get the wrong angle, you get thrown into the water, which is dangerous. Anyway, there's another mask here, so you, that's why you want to get rid of that mask. But there is a flamethrower on the right split waiting for me at the moment. We go down here. This is a rather nifty use of masks. Yep, we just skip him. And up ahead is the final one. And I have one mask left. Perfect. Perfect. Lovely. I have no other use for masks in this walk room at all. That's it. We're done with them. So, uh. That was it's a not really nice use of masks. Pretty much, yeah. Because the, the upcoming levels, we're about to go into a slew of bear levels now. With the first bear oh, level yay. being... <laughs> so this is about five minutes of solid bear action, if you liked that, but there's no more after this. So. Yeah, but the first kind of bear is not the bear that oh, yeah, everyone's true. quite expecting. Yet. <laughs> now, this level is called unbearable, for reasons totally clear. But uh, I personally like this level a lot, because uh, it's supposed to be quite hard. The polar bear's supposed to be fast. Obviously, I'm going very fast today, but there's just so many wide open spaces in here. It's just perfect for slide spin. And the things that are in the way are fences and enemies, both of which die to a slide and a spin. Brilliant. So I can just go, just plough through effectively. Like. The only thing is, so I've got to be careful of those little mines that are sat on the floor. The mines holes. just throw you up in the air for yep. reference, they don't kill you. Yeah. And uh, there's something else I was supposed to be wary of. Electric fences, that's what, it, oh, that's what it is. Anyway, there's a secret area under this bridge, but I don't want to wait for the bear to come along and break it. So I quickly throw myself down a hole so I can open this. The bear's so to be so close to you that he inevitably breaks the bridge just as you get there. There you are. No. But in here, here's our next little oh, sequence. Oh, and this sequence is so awesome as well. Yeah, I enjoy doing this. Uh, I messed Please up. Just take I think a I messed up in my 12939, so enjoy how it's meant to be. Basically, there are three masks in here. I need to do this only one mask. I time all the, uh, time the enemies enemy pattern so the bullets will be going through the enemies and I can just jump over both at once. Jump on the mask to spin those two boxes. If you go left far enough, it unloads the bullet sequence over here, which means they're all totally predictable. Damage boost off this bullet to avoid the nitro, and that also removes the mask that I need to get rid of to avoid going into third mask form. And a glitch high jump to clear doing the rap puzzle. Uh, get a second mask there. Damage boost here because there's no reason not to. Just it's just it's just so perfect. It's just so perfect, and he even leaves with one mask, which he yeah. fully intends to use. It's, it's brilliant. Yeah. See, upcoming bonus round. Now there is a nice little jump you can do here. Uh, slide, regal, right jump, which can sometimes get up to the top. It didn't happen today, but I've got backup strats as well. If you do a glitch high jump body slam there, you can mount the boxes. Now you might have noticed I just skipped an exclamation mark box stuff because I don't want it. It just you see these nitros. I don't actually care to jump over them. It's slower, so let's just jump into them instead with the spare mask. With the spare mask from the previous route, it's just so perfect. Because you can't actually have masks beyond this section here, they're totally useless. They're just confined to that little area. That's why I say you masks are useless in, the, in this walk room, even though that's, that was some of the best mask abuse that we've seen so far today. Oh yeah. <laughs> Anyway. Oh, and then the 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 one, whichever it is, so right, yeah. it's pretty nice. I, I I do. It's pretty it's pretty smart usage. Where where you've got time to save, you may as well use your masks to do it. And just in case this level didn't have a perfect combination of all of the features of the game, aside from the waterboard, <laughs> here's the polar bear. <laughs> ah, this is pretty. Uh, this scene when I played it as a kid, it was just so fun. Oh, it's still this. fun. I just remem I still remember this from childhood yeah. as well. It's too perfect. Also, the polar launching in here is so all over the place just because the scenery just grabs you. It's Notice this amazing. polar bear disappeared. Yeah, it, it just, it's an amazing polar bear. It, it just teleports. So I grab this gem. And guess what? There's a secret in this level. And it's oh, guarded wait, there's by more a polar we bear. Yeah. Guarded by a polar bear. Oh. <laughs> if you go back to this guy, well done. Yeah. Secret warp room for you. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Absolutely. There's going to be more. 
Here is totally bare. Now this is a whole nother level. So previously the secret warp has just been used for sort of skipping into levels we've been seen before. Totally Even bare is this is, is my only second visit to the level, uh, into the warp room. This is level 26, it's a secret level, it's a polar bear it level. It doesn't have a crystal, it just has a box gem. Yeah. So if you don't get polar all boxes, the boxes, this level is completely pointless. And oh look, it's dark. It's very, <laughs> very dark. Oh my gosh, this is so, so scary. Like, it's unbelievable. Those of you who remember my 12939 will not be thought. I remember that I died in this level that time. Understandably, it's I am insane. glad to say it didn't happen this time. Don't worry, it's it. Okay. <laughs> it could I'm still happen, sorry. folks. Be very careful. I'm very sorry. Edge of your seat action, this is. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm narrowly avoiding death all over the place. I'm just doing some polo launches and some charges where I don't have room to do polo launches. You take this level much more tentatively than other polar bear levels, you might notice, but that's yeah, fine like this. because it's dark. I have to, really. <laughs> When we get that, when we get to bear down, which is the level after this, we'll get straight back into the launching action. Do you all, do you always know what's coming next, or do you sort of take it as it comes? Uh, I know this level. I had to learn it. Basically, the enemies are uh, do not go off their config, so it's okay. Basically, everything gets loaded. At, uh, when we're talking about config, by the way, we mean like what position there is. So, like whether yeah. the guys are lifting up or lifting down, or whether the thing on the enemy left. configuration is what what it's done. Yeah, for, basically. Anyway, so that was all that went quite boxes. well. Yeah, that went quite well. I'm happy with how that turned out. I got quite a good um, pile of good polar launches, and polar launching being the strat where you like, just fling yourself in the air. <laughs> polar launching, as as named by Sword of Seals. So yeah, clear that level. Let's claim my little box gem, and then we'll move on to uh, Bear Down. Now Bear Down is pretty cool. I like this level a lot, even with its polar launching. It's well, it's my favourite level to polar launch in. The only tricky bit is the opening, and you're going to see. Uh, it's just I remember a bit awkward. When, when he did this run, the, the, in the live live commentary, it was just, oof, ah, oof, ah, ah. This is true. For this you, can, you can also watch the live version You can watch the live version of this it's if on my you really Twitch. want to. It's not got my dearest brother commentating, but it we do have sort of seals. So that's good. So we ha I have to play this section a little bit safe in the beginning because of uh, the awkward layout. And then just, I get to launch there. And, and then uh, it's, uh, it's all safe from here. Yeah, and then, then, then we're back in action. We'll launch over these guys. Do a launch here, because there's room to charge, and then jump onto these guys, and then we'll do a jump over here. Might sometimes charge there, chose not to today. Charged here instead, did a leap to recheck my charge, and then charge into a seal to kill it. That's something that not everyone knows you can do. You can charge the seals to kill Yeah, them. it's quite interesting. It's useful. So... Yeah, this level's going quite well. I'm just grabbing, grabbing boxes, grabbing crystals, uh, waiting for the next opportunity to pull It does launch. look very dangerous. That yeah. particularly looks insane. There's no real room to do anything there but jump. You have to start your jumps in advance and be aware that, that everything's coming. So do a launch there. I'm not sure why I did that one. That was a bit of a weird one, but never mind. Uh, and then we're basically done at this point, and that is the uh, final polar bear level. No more polar bears. No more polar bears. Sad face. But there is a little secret, but wait, there's more. <laughs> but wait, there's more. No, 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 no. First, we get the box gym. But wait, there's, there's more. more. Great, So yes. we turn around, go back, and you see these platforms here? Well, if you jump onto this middle one over here, it takes you back to the Perhaps secret warp Perhaps the most again. obvious entrance to the secret warp room, in my opinion. Probably just to make sure people have an awareness of it. Uh, definitely, and it does take you to the first thing yeah. in the secret warp room, so. Kind of indicating it was the first to be discovered. Yeah. So, air crash, secret entrance. Here we go for our revisit If to you air recall, crash. we didn't quite get everything. We didn't get the box gem. No, so this time we're going to get the box gem via the secret entrance. You see this little area that we warp into? Well, we can't access this from the main level, so we have to get it this way. I'm just, I don't even know how that boost did nothing. Boarding but strats, yeah. Basically, this area is like a minefield, no pun intended, uh, and it's very hard to navigate. So The whirlpool gotta, in particular does make it. Yeah, the, whirl, the whirlpools suck you in really bad, if you see what I mean. You... You don't yeah. quite get an appreciation for how sucky yeah. they are. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so th that's all there is to the secret entrance, and then you're back in the main level. So that's uh, just literally to get those boxes. However, it does come with a neat side effect of that's, that's where the nitro detonator is. And if anyone's played this level normally, which I basically never do, there's a pile of nitros in the later part of the level that are now gone, which, is, which makes the revisit a lot easier than the first visit. Uh, the only instance that we've that you're going to see is uh, up ahead after this jump. There used to be a little nitro formation here after these mines, which is gone. But then I took the death route and death warped. But there are more nitros in the water section up ahead that aren't there anymore. So, so basically, the level actually gets yeah. easier on the second pass. So it's kind of like a nice little reward for your discovery. Now to make this bonus round fast, I just do that. <laughs> cool strats. <laughs> it's always good fun. Do a spin slide here. There's no requirement to trigger every exclamation mark, by the way, as, no, as no. we discussed earlier. It's just Only a... wooden crates and nitro boxes and TNTs that need to be broken. 
and the reinforced body slam crates. Oh, and, and just in case any of you was confused, the definition of 100% does not include the Wumpa fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the Wumpa fruit being the apples. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As everyone refers to them. Anyway, so there is a nifty little break ahead. Uh, you see these boxes mask. up here. If you have a mask, you can damage boost off of this thing and get up the top. You're normally supposed to leap across the platforms to get there. However, if you've got the mask, you can just damage boost up, which saves a little bit of time. Who knew you the waterboard on concrete? Well, uh, Crash did. So, I missed this jump because I'm clever, and then slowly do a slow stretch and then lose my final mask. Bang. Does not matter. The only thing I have to be wary of is those, and that's it. That's the only use for a mask. Those, are those fish there. any actual threat? You just seem to slide past them. Are they like the uh, icicles? Are they more a threat if you're slow? or? Yeah. They'll, they try sometimes try to leap at you. Basically, they die to slides and spins, I believe. So. Oh, okay. It's so okay for me to chain through. It's just, it's just like the seal. It's an enemy I don't have to worry about. So... That's everything no, from the first... A bit first... more walking while talking, and I've done the first three warp rooms in their entirety. That is really nice. So, moving up, we have the next boss fight. This is the mo considered to be the most random boss fight in the game. This is Tiny, who is not Tiny in the slightest. Ran the name. R r ran random as in... Uh, it relies on luck, not random as in... <laughs> yeah. It's Basically, old. you need to make a tiny leap over a falling hole. The trouble is, the sequence of falling holes is not predictable, so it's one of the few things well, in the run. I, I've yeah. I'm noticing patterns. There is something that I'm doing that can manipulate these however I haven't quite under I don't quite understand it yet basically I pretty much knew that these two platforms were gonna fall so that's why I led him on this circle uh, and then I had the I just got the impression that uh, the platform either immediately right of me or two to the right of me would fall and I hoped it would be the one two to the right because what happens is obviously he leapt off unfortunately but that's not too bad because he'll just go around in a circle and I have to quickly just get back over here not a problem. So dangerous. And, and just to top fight. things off, if you do this, then Crash can dance on midair. Absolutely. This is the best bit. That is, that is the best bit of the fight. There is also a tricky little move to do. You have to know what you're doing if you're going to do that. because it, Don't try it, this at home if you don't want to have to fight the boss twice. Basically, uh, when Crash wants to dance, all horizontal movement comes to a close. So do not, uh, well, lateral movement, you know, comes to a, it comes to a complete standstill. And if you're over the air at that point, you crash will fall. <laughs> anyway, this is the joy that is Warp Room 4. Um, Welcome to Ruination. Ruination! Did I, mention, no, no, did I mention that I hate Ruin levels? Is like Rue to Ruin's evil twin. So, yeah. I don't know if you spotted, there was four boxes followed by a Nitro back there. That That's... is in a formation of boxes in Road to, uh, Road so to Ruin. So it looks exactly like Road to Ruin, except it's got a Nitro, it's got a nitro in it. So if you just do what you did in Road to Ruin, you die. die. Similarly, you recognise that little box formation. I visited it three times after all. Well, this time they're nitros, so you don't trigger that. Don't trigger that. They're nitros. They blow up anyway. It's fine. Yeah. So here comes the green gem route. You're supposed to oh, stand on the green gem. You can yeah. do a nice jump. This route is so insanely hard. Unfortunately, here comes death number four, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, there's supposed to be a little short hop that you do from this platform to over there. Unfortunately, I didn't make it. I don't know. That was the worst. Sing as the single uh, as a si for a single death. That was the worst single death of the run. It cost approximately 20 seconds. Uh, along, with some along with some movement areas that I had in the main level. And all your masks. And all of my masks, which doesn't really matter. <laughs> now, <laughs> here I just do the same jump again, or what I feel is the same jump. Admittedly, my Clearly positioning was, was, di <laughs> was different, but that was how it was meant to, uh, was meant to turn out. Pity it, was, uh, pity it didn't turn out that way. Oh well, the rest of this level is going to go according to plan. Yes. I insist that it goes according to plan. So, but, uh, this section, I cannot tell you how hard it is. The, all the you jumps, don't even know, The things anyway. throwing logs. It's just so insane. So we grab the gem and we just get straight out of there. And we've got more of the main level. There's, there's just that green, the green gem area and the bonus round are two of the longest areas of just platforming that can go wrong. If you see what I mean. If you die at the end of the green gem platform, kiss your run goodbye. If you die at the end of the bonus round, kiss your run goodbye. It really They're is just quite ridiculous. Harsh. Now, NTSC users, be jealous because our, our European body slam can break four boxes, which means that we don't need to worry about... NTSC uh, is the American and Japanese versions of the game, for the record. Yeah, I think um, know that. But they have a... Yeah, the body slam, for some reason, can't break as many boxes. Um, now, look at the, did you see those boxes kind of load at the last moment there? That is caused by uh, the bonus round being slightly overloaded because I didn't pick up any of the fruit, basically. There were so many objects floating around that the PlayStation almost skip to rendering the boxes and if they don't render they don't exist so you can't break them i have to i have to reload them somehow which is a tricky set of moves sometimes this happens it's all to do with the amount of fruit that falls out of the boxes it's fairly rare pick, though pick up so resuming off the uh, resuming on the main level 
I mean, this whole, those... these whole levels are just like horrible platforming galore. If I sort, if I turn that correctly, that's ra relatively easy to do. Uh, and just set both of these off. I don't need to do anything. And these twisty things are awful. I know where that one's going to be. Uh, I know vaguely where that one's going to be. Uh, and I just complete this by doing that. Beautiful. The crystal is here. You can spin right since that. I missed, so I deliberately. I realised I was going to miss, so I just jumped straight on. I get my second mass, which is nice. Pay attention. The masks are important. Absolutely. <laughs> So, with that, with that said, ruination is complete. Not too bad, not too shabby. Also, if anyone didn't know, you can spin those logs, the ones they were throwing at you, the yes. glaze, you can actually spin them out of the way. Yeah. Turns out, right? Yeah, I didn't know that until quite late on as well, so... <laughs> they look so dangerous, though. You don't, you don't ever think, I'll just spin it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But spin is surprisingly powerful. Indeed. So, the next level on the agenda is a hanging out. Did you start dancing there? I did. <laughs> not my triangle quickly. Anyway, so, hanging out is our next uh, super level. It's our final one as well. I have two masks, and for a change, I'm not damage boosting past flamethrowers. In fact, we'll just sit here crawling. Why not? I'll just wait for it. Basically, I want these masks. There he is. I am about to go invincible. So, <laughs> which is a, as, which as, is a strat and as, change. As discussed earlier, invisibility... In, invisibility. Invincibility invincibility is slower, and then you're, about to, see, you're about to see just how slow it makes me go when I... Uh, pick up the third mask, but then you're about, and then you'll see why I did it shortly afterwards. So, after clearing this Pay attention here, to how fast he's going on the grate, yeah. it'll be important. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think there's a little bit of a spoiler for what the mask is useful for. So, anyway, dodge these ones, uh, dodge around these ones, and uh, the mask is straight beyond this door. Now, immediately, I slow down. Now look at this, he's just running, it's ridiculous. Running is so now slow. faster. Oh, so slow. And then I grab some grates. Whoa, <laughs> dude. <laughs> It makes the drapes just so, so fast, and you also don't have to wait for them things. Yep. So and I go back on foot here for a little bit longer until the mask wears out, which isn't that long. Just so that's... have to murder everything in the tube, and then there the we go. That's the one place in the game where the mask is... The third mask, Invincibility, we think, is legitimately faster. Yeah. And now for here, here for what I call the bonus round of the apocalypse. Back a year and a bit ago, I used to be so good at this bonus round and spin jumping on the boxes at the end of it. Now I'm not so much anymore, so this one is a lot scarier. I invented spin slide for the purpose of clearing this bonus round. Now spin slide here is what you're about to see in a minute for the first time properly. What I want to do is clear this up. Now actually this goes wrong. Spin slide is supposed to clear two boxes, right? Now watch what happens. You do a spin and then you rapidly slide and it does that. For the first time ever, spin slide breaks three <laughs> in, this, in this run. One. And my heart almost stopped at that point <laughs> because I hadn't expected it. I somehow managed to make the bonus platform anyway, which was nice. And then and it I turns out it's actually faster to do it like that. Of course, because you've broken a lot of boxes at once. What we now. used to do is spin jump over the, uh, on the boxes to break them, which often went wrong, broke more than one at once and sent you down the hole. And guess what? I was losing masses for a reason there. <laughs> I yes, wanted to go back to the stupid, And we didn't miss the crystal Skip unintentionally. Crystal so it turns out if you go back into the screen there, here's this little secret area with loads yeah. of lives. How useful. Press R1, crash really. falls up his legs. This is the only place in the game where there's lives are not required useful. for 100%. What are we doing here? Yeah, um, yeah, I didn't come here for the lives. Anyway. No. <laughs> so came here for you, the good view. So when you get to the end of the station, unfortunately I had to pull up my legs loads of times just because I got some very poor navigation on the grates. So that's my fault, by the way. Uh, we hit that section and we get warped out again and guess Unless where we're going to. <laughs> uh, we're back in warp 6, the secret warp. But, and ooh look, new level again. Level 27, this one's labelled. Totally fly, and which is, is box gem only again. So it's just got a box gem, no point coming if you don't get the box gem. And what an evil level they've presented us. They love the dark. They do love the dark. Only this time we're with fireflies. Now, people who've played this game before usually remember the first dark level to be level 23, not level 27. However, uh, in this sequence, this is faster, this is the way to do it. You want to come here first, yeah. So we go to the harder Firefly level first. Well, I suppose it's harder Firefly level. It's more of a bonus Firefly level, if you see what I mean. There's a fair amount of lives in it. It's not too hard to do. Now, you may have noticed I've started, uh, slowed down a bit. Uh, yeah, the terrain of this area eludes me slightly. I know somewhat what I'm doing, so I slide spin into places where I know for sure what's going on. But the enemies and the holes are very trollish. And since you can't actually see where they are, you need to go judge based on instinct. The firefly only lights a little area around you. Anyway, this so firefly was like, is a bit. This, yeah, stupid. he just it, it just stays behind. And does he what it wants. he just he just goes at a set so speed. I'm not even fussed. He even waits for that TNT. I don't give it. I don't give a toss. At this point, I really don't care about the firefly. I know this bonus round. Just slide so there, pro. slide up there, spin there, spin, down and left spin, spin there up go. and right, oh, jump lovely, platform. easy. It is pretty easy. incredible. So that's rather nice. I. I like that. I like that series of moves. Now, 
You can kind of slide jump over those without getting blown up. I don't like trying it because I get blown up. Now this is evil. So I've changed strats. Uh, I only break three of these now. I used to break all six without taking the firefly. But basically, the firefly does not last long enough for you to break all of these play sound boxes. So you have to go and find away. them in the dark beforehand. What I did instead was break f uh, three of them without the firefly. Now watch, the firefly flew away to just two slams. Now if I'd done any more than that, I wouldn't have seen where I was jumping. Which is evil, considering there's some nasty holes. I mean, you can yeah. do it without seeing, if you're... Yeah, yeah. But I I generally you counter poor success rates with that. You can jump along, along the scenery, but you'll often get stuck, and if you mess it up, you'll fall. If you try to jump to where the platforms are, you'll forget where, you're, where they are. That technique me. is a safety technique. It is, strictly speaking, slower. But, but it's not as slow as the old try technique that I used to and use. And considering we're 50 odd minutes into the run, <laughs> it's all very well and good with me. So, coming up next is Cold Hard Crash, which is, one of again, another one of my favourite levels. You know, of the snow levels, Cold Hard Crash and Snowbiz are brilliant, and Snowgo is a pain in the butt on the backside. Uh, now, this level contains a glitch that I discovered long ago. Uh, if my if This glitch was originally revealed in my previous speedrun, because nobody knew about it before then, effectively. I had made a video, I think I'd made a video, but it never really, nobody ever, nobody really saw it until they saw the run, if you see what I mean. Everybody's so, like, I'm skipping doing? this checkpoint. What are you doing here? This is crazy. Is this 100%? Well, what are you doing? You need all the boxes, right? I think people are used to skipping boxes. The bonus boxes. round! Well, why are you skipping that? This make this make, I, I don't understand what's going on. Chadas, what's, what's, what's going on? I don't know, but he's breaking lots of boxes. Indeed. I'm sure it'll all become clear. So anyway, I'm heading towards the death route right now. I don't want checkpoints. Checkpoints are supposed to pass. Checkpoints would ruin everything. So I stand on the death route. Uh, why am I doing Which, this? Which, if you recall, oh, means... Oh, oh, I forgot. I don't want to be in here. I want to go outside. If you recall, because he stood on the death route, now he can die. <sighs> this is important. Without the death route disappearing. You see, I knew there was something I forgot. I've got to do the bonus round. That's right. Uh, oh, and I left those two boxes behind. Blimey. I wasn't on the ball, was I? I was making this one. Ooh, dear, 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 dear. So, now let's clear out the bonus round. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the checkpointing situation. It's, it's getting a bit dire, isn't it? You, you'd think at this point everything was ruined. <laughs> yeah, it's looking bad. It's like uh, yeah, yeah, someone, yeah. someone on the stream has just told me I missed boxes or something. So, you're like, oh, I don't oh, that. No. You know, the fastest method, you know, might just be to reset the level. Yeah. So, let's kill myself here. We. But wait, there's more <laughs> than the normal Look amount of boxes. Box so there are 72 counter. boxes, and but wait, why did that happen? When you die, you lose all the boxes, considering you didn't get a checkpoint. Well, <laughs> uh, as explained in the glitch demonstration video on YouTube, um, how it works is if the box count... So you know how at the end of the bonus, it ticks up the box count slowly, not all at once. If that is still ticking up as the screen fades to black when you die... When you come back, you still have all the boxes, the but ones the ones outside the bonus are back. The bonus is shut, but the ones outside the bonus are still here. So, with that and with that in mind, I cloned, I think it was 43 boxes or something like that. Maybe, was it 41? I think it was 41, actually, yeah. Now I can get checkpoints. These boxes are uh, quite safe. I've got 114 boxes entering the death route. This is impossible. Most yeah. of which he bo broke twice, though. Yeah. Because he got them once, then died, and then got them again. Cunning. So, doing this actually skips two passes through this death route and the main part of the level, because basically now I have so many boxes, I've got 126 boxes, which is one more than you're ever supposed to have. All I need to do is exit out of this area while grabbing the gem, and I have enough boxes to get the box gem without needing to do the backtracking business or the main or the main bulk of the level. And since you can't actually grab that gem without falling down, you need to do a third pass through the death route. That skip, doing that skips all of that. So now, because I'm clever, I decide to lose that mask, because, you know, <laughs> why not? I don't need masks, right? Uh, which causes me to play it a little bit safe here, because I really kind of want that mask. You do often die to that hedgehog, so I think that was a good decision. Yeah. I miss those two boxes to scramble it. I skip a box. Why is that? Because the box uh, box gem is rewarded for 155. And it's 155 five, exactly. So if you get 156, you don't get the gem. Yeah, it's, it's 156 out of 156. 156 is impossible, so you yes. have to get 155. Yeah. My suspicion is that it's coded that way because of the blue gen challenge, the whole mm. zero out of zero stuff. Okay, so the box dupe is cool. So, you may ask, why did you introduce it so late into the run? Surely that would be useful in other levels with split passageways. Unbelievably. Well, you would think so, but no. no. Basically, there are very few bonus rounds that allow you, that give you enough time to do it. Because you have thing. to die while it's still ticking up, so yep. that limits it Including all animations. Including all death animation. And you also, uh, uh, what was I saying? I've lost track. I was saying something clever, I'm sure. You, 
I don't know. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yes, moving on. we're going to move on because there's another box dupe in this yeah. level, but this one's a heck of a lot more evil. Yeah, so basically we go from one really nice box dupe to one really difficult one. This is the second and final box So that first the one, there was no chance he would miss it because he had some like 30 bonus boxes when he died. So it was unbelievable how much time he had to die. He could have died in any number of horrible ways and it would have still worked. Yeah. So basically in this level... Also, this is a new type of level and it's really evil. Yeah, it's, uh, these are the B type levels. They're only in, Bees and grenade plants. They're only in Warp Room 4 and they're really horrible. Yep. There's only two of them though. Yeah. So anyway, I am desperately trying to preserve at least one of these masks for the bonus round and you're going to see why. So first I'm going to hit this checkpoint. There are, there are six boxes in the uh, death route and there are seven outside of it. I want to dupe these seven boxes so I don't have to do the death route to get the box gem from there. So I get these seven boxes and then I retreat on the bonus round. Now, I tried this jump here, which rarely works. Today it didn't work. What a surprise. Oh, well. So, now I need to break all of the boxes in this bonus round. And we do mean all of the There are nitros in this bonus round. round. So, I'm going to break those as well, because it's a little bit extra tiny. It's impossible to do it without breaking them. This is the second time I used the analog stick in the game. With 26, you can barely dupe. This is so close. I need to use a very specific angle that I can't get on the D-pad. I need to do that, and then slide, spin into this If hole. you look, there were two boxes when the screen faded. That's, like, the limit. If there was any less, it would be too low. And but it says it 54 worked. boxes, which means it worked. Basically, that can go so horribly wrong. If you cock up your angle, if you're too slow, or if you get the flying shoes animation death, which is just horrendous if you do it all right, and then the you other, just see the shoes fly up. And the, the other annoying down. thing about this glitch is if you don't get to the checkpoint and before die. dying, <laughs> the it all goes vanish. away. So it was all pointless. So that was a bit of a slow section there. We yeah, I deliberately took, took my carefully. time to make sure I kept these boxes. Because you might have noticed this run is going quite well. Uh, so <laughs> And you had noticed at this point. Yeah, I noticed at this point. I was very happy with how this was going and a bit scared. So I'm going to break this checkpoint here because I don't need to worry about the checkpoint that's in the death route or any of its boxes. But I do need to come in here because there's a gem in here as well. But that's all I need to come in here for. I just need to come in here, grab this gem, gem and leave. death warp. And now, you see these grenade plants up ahead? They're evil. There is my final death of the run. Uh, it cost seven seconds, perhaps. Not even. I wouldn't say it was even that, was it? Probably more like five. But so, given how well the running's going, it really doesn't matter. Yeah. If if my runs have accidental deaths like that, I'm not going to complain. Too that much. That was... Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know. It's it better I get the dupe and then die to a grenade plant than not and miss the dupe, is my opinion. So Definitely. So, I uh, here is my box gem for 95 boxes. And then... I have to death up here because I need to go to the secret exit. For the very last time, we get a secret entrance to the, the secret warp room entrance thingy. You get this one for killing the plant. Yep, on this little island here. If you How weird. Go for it. <laughs> which I did when I was a kid because I wanted to kill, kill all the enemies. And this gives you the start to Road to Ruin. If you recall, in Road to Ruin, he did that horrible jump to the left at the but very But we beginning. don't want to do Road to Ruin. We don't want to do Road to we Ruin. We don't want to do Road to Ruin. The less I've had Road to Ruin, the better. So I'm going to go to Totally Fly. Because then if you leave here... If I, if I, yeah, if I opt to warp out from... If I opted to go into Road to Ruin and warp out of that, I would end up in Warp Room 3. Instead, By the way, on the start menus there, four. he's pressing start and select on yes, at the same time. Yes, right. that's right. That's, that's a little throwback to Crash 1 where you had press start select for map. Well, start select map works in Crash 2 as well. That was discovered well after the previous one, the 129. So it just saves a few seconds yeah. navigating the menu. And also the percentage counter that you saw in there said 75%. We are three quarters done. Absolutely. So here is our second and final B level. This is behaving. We used to call it behaving, but obviously if the pun is behaving. I, I did know it was behaving. <laughs> so why didn't you correct me? Anyway, this level can be cruel, but we've discovered this, this nice little glitch high jump here circumvents that otherwise really nasty nitro puzzle and make sure I walk away with the mask. By the way, it's in these B levels, here. we're saying B levels, there are bees. I don't know if yeah. you've ever seen the bees, <laughs> That's it's going point. so fast. The bees chase you. I have attacked you. one bee over the course. So the bees chase you. That's... In this level, they're in packs of five. In the previous level, they're in ones. Anyway, there's a route change here. Uh, normally, I would go and get the purple gem right now. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pass up the purple gem entrance to hit the next checkpoint and then double back. So, some of you might be thinking, well, what's he talking about? All I saw back there were enemies and a few nitros. So, wow. Well. Welcome so let's double again. back once again to the game that the devs thought, mm, you know, this game isn't obscure enough. These nitros are not acting like normal nitros. They're, They're not, not bouncing. Real. Because it's they just are a painted. staircase. <laughs> They're just painted. In here is the purple gem. Now this route is the toughest route in the game, except for we don't have to do it. The purple gem is there. And once we've got it, we can just death roll back to where we were before. Which and was continue. that checkpoint. And that's why I went forward to break that checkpoint, because it's slightly less distance to there. 
so there you go. Doubling back doesn't take as long as going forwards twice. Now, a couple of new strats in the bonus round, just to make things useful. I now slide spin southeast and then do a jump there. I'm actually so far in the 3D range that I can't hit the nitros even if I didn't jump. Oh. But if I slide, I will hit them. So that's why I slide jump. Uh, now these boxes are just... so horrifying. They Whatever. look like they could just jump up at any moment. They can. Anyway, <coughs> fortunately for us, and that didn't happen. So progressing onwards, uh, this level has gone amazingly well. It's just been very smooth. So if you slide down the middle here, this guy doesn't spit a grenade till late. I used to think sliding up the left was better. That's not true. It causes him to spit a grenade as soon as you're alive if you do that. Now, I hide in, the, in, in here and then spin these bees into the nitro detonator only. Today, they didn't hit it. So I had to hit it myself. I mean, I'll get over it and all that. Well, uh, it's, it's slightly annoying. It's a bit sad. I like my bee snipes. But anyway. So, that is a whopping four. My goodness, it's gone by so quick. We now have uh, all of the coloured gems. And 79%. I can tell you for a fact it's 79%. <laughs> anyway, so the next fight is Engine. This is a very unusual little fight. And uh, this is probably the only boss that's hard. Yes, basically. <laughs> we're, well, we're not... I'm including the final boss in that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that uh, You'll see. Basically, in this fight, we're using pro Projectile Wumper Fruit. I make a mistake immediately. You might think that knocking off an arm is helpful because, you know, the whole purpose is to beat him after all. Uh, yep, yeah, I need to knock off the arms, but I can knock off both at once if I play my cards correctly. Which well, is I did that faster. wrong. Basically, I'm supposed to only put nine pieces of fruit into that uh, arm to make sure it's only one away from breaking. Instead, I hit hit ten and it just fell off. So instead of breaking both at once, which is what I would otherwise have done, I had to manually break the second one, which was frightening as heck because I don't really know that uh, cycle. To make matters worse, you can also do the same similar thing with the shoulders. Now, each of the shoulders takes five hits, basically. I got three on the on the rightmost one and four on the leftmost one. I miscounted. I thought I had four on both, so I hit one each each one once. And guess what? Only one of the shoulders fell off, much to my dismay. So I know this sequence because I know it well. It's not because the first of, because time of, because of that, this one has some HP added to it. Now it requires three hits to knock off, uh, which wastes some time because now I had to watch him fly around. So that's probably the poorest engine you've ever had. <laughs> yeah, but in actuality all of those mess-ups mess only cost in the region of around 8 seconds overall. So it's not it's not terrible. Much worse things have happened in previous runs. I'm pleased to say that... I love Crash Sai in there. It's brilliant. Yeah. He's idle. The, the fruit has no animation. No. It probably should, but it doesn't. Yeah. Anyway, this is the last time Crash will dance in this run. Because we are now moving on to the fi fifth and final warp room. Here's where things get nerve-wracking for me. with terrifying levels. So, so nervous I am that I can't actually find the front door of Pack Attack and spend a while getting in there. But, uh, I pull it off. It takes a while. So welcome right at the end of the game to a to new no. feature. Yes. Da -da -da -da. Now, I, ne I never used to know these levels very well, but since then I have learned them. Uh, and now they go a lot smoother than before. Uh, the 129.39 was a bit all over the place with this level. It's because I didn't really know what was coming. Now I know for a fact what waits behind each of these sealed doors. It means I can charge them, effectively. Now if I move backwards quite a distance there, I actually unload the next section, which puts those into that config there. Those laser beams, which Basically, is Basically, really whenever he opens the door, everything's in a set pattern. Yeah, so if he closes it, it, well, the door actually, and opens it again. No, it's not quite. But anyway, here's a PAL exclusive glitch going through the lab assistants. If you do that on NTSC, they electrocute you, but the PAL version, you can just go through them. Now, I slightly overshot this checkpoint because I was too busy trying to avoid electric wires to notice that it was there. So, uh, we sort it, uh, sort it out. Uh, but yeah, everything gets loaded just before one of these doors. So, generally closing them isn't enough, but... That, that the there, corner. if you go really, really fast down the middle there... As long as those little mines haven't moved to the centre, which they sometimes have, you are fine. And then if they haven't, then you know what sequence this guy's going to be on, because he is predictable. That's why I was happy to risk doing that so late into the runner with such and a good run. And this unbelievable trick... Whoa! Ninja'd round the wires. Pretty nice. I I have newfound love for these levels. They're pretty cool. They are. This the is one the of music those... on them is good as well, but we barely hear any of it. The introduction mm. to the song is so long, and the level is over. You know, it's a the, shame. This is one of the major savings on the previous run, as well as the yeah, road to yeah. ruin jump. It's um, uh, better jetpacks. Anyway, coming up next is uh, Piston It Away. I go here next, regardless of what happens in a pack attack. When I'm watching you run, this is one of the most terrifying bits for me. Yeah. 
Um, yep. Well, we are now into we are now in hard mode because we're in the hardest area of the game. Now, if you wait for this guy to move out of the way and then do a glitch high jump, you can quickly slide spin under these pistons. And this is something that I've learned, practiced, and isn't going wrong much anymore. I have two masks here, for good reason, there's a death root in this level, and it's really difficult. This so, is the reason why I'm so terrified, because yeah. if you recall what we said about death roots, they, die, they close if you they die. They close if you die, so he literally cannot die in this, but it's lots of specific platforming and lots of horrifying enemies. Yeah. I forgot what sequence this was on, that was wrong. What I should have been doing there was waiting for him to pull his arms up and then slide spin him out of the way. So I let the enemies get back onto the correct config again so I know what I'm doing. Fine with me. The regrettable part is that I get stuck on a wall and lose the other mask. Now then. That now is this is when things get terrifying, because any hit will cost the run. The run. It would take minutes to correct a mistake. Fortunately, here, there's another mask here. There is the death route. But the we worst can't part go is I in. can't go in it. This is the worst so he has to keep going despite passing the death route without dying. Because, because there is a bonus round here, but I'm gonna leave that for a little bit later. There is a checkpoint there, I'm gonna leave that for a little bit later. There is these guys. I just need to get them out of the way because they are trolls. They've killed my runs before. It's rather regrettable when that happens, let me tell you. <laughs> All the way out here is one wall box. box. Now, you might think we just death warp out and it would be fine, but you can't because the death room has <laughs> checkpoints in it and boxes in it. This is how you have to do it. You would love to dupe this section, but there are none of boxes in the bonus round to do it. So the only way is to do all of the level forward to that box we just saw, do it backwards, including the bonus, back to the death route platform. Although, fortunately, if you die in the bonus, it doesn't close the death route. So yes, that's okay. the one missable place. So, but. usually when I'm here, I'm safe, because when you get to the bonus round on the return trip, I don't even know how, I didn't manage to break that box, but when you get to here on the return trip, Basically, we're into the. We're, I'm now one jump away. But this is why it's so There's terrifying. Only one more hole. Because if he, for example, fell into that one more hole, it would cost two minutes, three minutes. I don't I'd even have to know. reset the level. But yeah. it'd, be, it'd be everything because you'd have to go right back to the beginning and do it all I'd have over to click again. Warp room and go warp back in. room back out back in. There's no. There's no advantage at all for me finishing the level. I'd take the crystal. Yeah. That's it, and that's not worthless. Worthless to me at this point. Yeah. So now. That's why this is so terrifying. About, this hole so here is no the problem. Level. Glitch high jump to avoid using the enemy. Those rays, by the way, shrink you. If you get hit by them, when he stands on one I've of those platforms, okay. it would it would hit him and shrink him. Uh, yes, he's got it's, the all, mask. it's always. But anyway, it's always a lovely time to be here, honestly. Yes, because now we're vaguely safe. Yeah. I mean, if he died now, it'd be still I'd be back at the checkpoint. But the death would be open. The death now, here is a new trick. Open. If you jump and then jump down, uh, then go down right, you can slide around along the top of the glass. He's, he's going along the top there. Yeah. And that allows me to skip that enemy, uh, enemy sequence just with the power of slide spins. Now this area is a bit tricky, there's no point in doing it at speed, because these guys... You have to wait a little bit, because otherwise you'll jump into the second guy, they made it that cruel. And if you do all this, and then uh, all you got to do is jump on the last enemy, the Nitro Detonator is over here. And there's, there's your box, your box gem, which yeah. is what we work so hard for. So, so in actuality, the hard part of this level is the box gem and not the death route. The death route is actually more straightforward. I wouldn't say straightforward, but more straightforward. Yeah. That so, is an evil level, and that is how you are supposed to do it. Yeah, that's the that, worst I didn't, part. I didn't that's not even that speed run strats. That is how you are supposed to do it. Well, I did the slide spin. Okay, yeah, yeah. But... Anyway, the space start is equally terrifying, if not more so. It's First of all, one. we have... They uh, put in this little feature called... Uh, well, it's a... It's another, it's another coloured gem route. So basically, after jump, fun, fun, jump. I was, ha I was having a hard time getting up, but I don't care. We're going to be death warping, hence yeah. skipping the box. So there's another blue gem platform here. There was one of these in Hang Eight. What's this doing here? <gasps> oh. Uh, anyway, you might have noticed it took a long time to get out here. There's no checkpoint in this section at all. This is don't want to supposed die to be the hardest section of the game. Dying here would be equivalent to losing an entire level's progress, in my opinion. Hey, lucky, lucky, it's the green gem platform. What if you didn't have the green gem? What would you do? Think about that. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to kill yourself. There's no backtracking from this. Uh, but wait, there's more. There's a yellow gem platform here. Isn't so, it good we got all the well, 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 what would ha What would happen if you didn't have the yellow gem? You'd have to kill yourself. It's harsh, but then all the lives do make up for it. Yeah, I can't know. They have got lives everywhere. <laughs> So a glitch hide there and a slide gets you past that piston before it hits done. And here's a red gem platform. Hey! You guessed it, yeah. So if I knock these two, and then I can do a glitch hide jump on the way, and then there is a purple gem platform. And this is the only purple gem platform in the game. And so this leads, at last, finally, to one gem. To one gem. Could you imagine failing in this section? Because if you do that, effectively, because now here's my death warp, and look where I am. I'm back at the beginning. How long did it take? A minute or so? 
So if that you fail of one of those jumps, those crazy, crazy platform jumps, you're done. <laughs> anyway. So Not as bad as pissing it away, admittedly, but still pretty yeah. horrifying. So these are the worst possible deaths at this late in the run. Anyway, I'm getting through that is... So relieving. As That's a big tick to the one's run's viability. That really is. Yeah. So you can do. Uh, coming up ahead, there's another one of those uh, shield guys in the glass section. You can if you urgently want to go on the glass, but I chose not to today because I didn't feel confident to do it, and because there's not that much over here. So it's not that much faster. It yeah. is faster. It is faster. Of course, it's faster. But I've blown myself up before trying to get up there and all sorts of crazy stuff. Considering how well it was going, I didn't think it was worthwhile. Risk versus reward. And this still turned out to be one of the best space styles I've ever done. So, I'm happy to say, cool. Screw it. Now, this, you have to jump up, uh, and make sure to body slam late, otherwise you get blown up. It is quite annoying. Now, here... You would think this would be another bonus round of the apocalypse, which is actually quite, quite significantly easier. Yep, one spin side, and then you just spin walk to get back to the land. Not too, not too horrendous, you know. It's a recurring theme. That's the last time I have to do something silly like that as well, which is nice. Well, it's, it's nice at this point in the run because things are winding up. We're encountering the last time we have to do this, the last time we have to do that horrible thing, yeah. and they've all gone to plan. Oh, so you remember here. those heated, uh, heated top guys? Well, you know, you're supposed to kill them with a slide, but it doesn't actually matter if the slide impacts the heated top. They still yep. die. Heated so. top is not dangerous. <laughs> So there you go. Do I slide? Indeed. Who knew? These platforms, the ones with the green centre, can be a bit silly. Yeah, uh, they are heated. If you hit the sides, you yeah, die. Yeah, you die. But you can you can accidentally clip the sides just by sliding off them, which is a bit of a pickle. Anyway, that didn't happen, and I got the gem. So there we go. So it's spaced out complete. The run looks uh, run looks very solid. Uh, to this basically. point that we start doing a, ooh, ooh, is he going to make it? This little good. Yeah. And considering how far I was ahead at this point, uh, if you actually watch the stream replay, you'll you'd know that I'm now about a minute and fifty ahead of the best, uh, the previous best time, which was also set by me. Entering <laughs> rocket now, so another another, another jetpack, jetpack level. level. Now, see, I've got this mask with me right now. Uh, it's fortunate that I have him. You know, uh, it is possible to complete spaced out with this with that mask. It's a rare occurrence, but a happy one. And if you have it then you want to go here first, because basically, uh, if you do the level right, you'll have the mask all the way to the end of the level, but if you do night fight, you'll lose it regardless. So it makes more sense to come here and take the mask with you, and then do this level with it, just in case something goes wrong, and then go to night fight afterwards, then the other way around. So I'm doing. So here I am in rocket. I mean, this this level seems a bit weird because you have to like do a lot of backtracking and pointless breaking your boxes. So there's not a lot, not a lot of what I can do about that. Kind of slow. Do it. I've got to do it. It goes a bit faster from here on out because yeah. now it, now the boxes are sparse. I know where I'm going. And just Pack attack by Harrison was here. a bit screwy. <laughs> yeah. Dive down here. Dive up there. Around here. I don't actually want to hit this guy because his electric cycle takes too long. So I want to go through him and find the checkpoint down here. There's a bump up here. And uh, guess what? How fortunate it was that I had a mask. Ooh. <laughs> Ouch. But anyway, that's fine with me. That's the whole reason for coming here first. And it worked. It saved the run. So, we now have... that. There's only 25 regular boxes in this level, and then 14 nitros to make 39. Take the gem and get the hell out. That which ends Rocket, now, which is a really short level. Which now means there is but one level left, and then the final boss. And we're coming. And we're now approaching Night Fight. So this is where you're supposed to meet the darkness, despite and the, the fact that we've already seen it twice. Yeah. Say hello to the good uh, to our good friend the Firefly. Only this level is perhaps harder than level 27 in my opinion, because what we have in here, uh, among uh, various pitfalls, more pitfalls than uh, what was in and what we're in totally fly. Got a nice mask here. That's cool with me. But there's a death route in this level. It comes just after this uh, upcoming checkpoint that you're going to see. You clear two more holes and there is a death route. How cruel. So you have to do all of that section without dying. How cruel. In the dark. This leads to the final uh, special gem of the game. When we go when we go past here, this area is quite nice. There's, uh, there's no holes for quite some time. And uh, there's only one hole up here. And this enemy that I plow into doesn't matter. I just want the gem. I want a death warp. I don't want a death warp off those guys because the angel animation is a lot longer I'm than falling. the fall. So I wanted him dead anyway. Throwing the mask at him was fine with me. So now we proceed up the right split to, come, to claim the box gem and the crystal. Now, over here is this silly formation of boxes <laughs> nitro with two boxes on top. Now, this actually this, 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 remarkably this, this is uh, special. 
one might say. Stop, stop. Oh, and I got one, and then I get the other. Hooray, Sorry. at last. The, the chosen boxes are broken. <laughs> <laughs> the scenery in that area pushes you away from the boxes, and you do not, under any circumstances, unless you're sword or mad, want to spin those boxes off the top, especially when you've got a really good run going, because it's not safe. You if you spin, like you have a very high chance of triggering the nitro. And sometimes it doesn't even blow up and still kills you. It's quite special. So here is the night fight bonus round, which is pretty cool. These fire flames do follow you, unlike, unlike the, the one in totally 27, yeah. Uh, normal players don't spend your time bouncing in between those boxes. At least not with that firefly following you, it'll run out. Now, if you do a correct slide here, you break both of those boxes and quickly get out from under the nitros all at once. That happened for me, that was that's a rare occurrence, it's very nice, it saves about a second or two. Otherwise you get stuck much further back and have to crawl much longer. And we're we still, all know that we're still saving the seconds this late into the run. Yep, I can I can handle that, especially considering how bad that was. Anyway, guess what? There are boxes in the death room. You have to backtrack. Hooray! <laughs> but you know, it's not so bad. They're here. There's only two of them. So, and then you just claim this next firefly. Coming up next is what I call the pig rat of demise. <laughs> this, uh, this enemy in, that's come to here, uh, he is... If you, if I hadn't spun, I would not have landed on him, let's put it that way. I'd be dead. He kills you for any reason. You want to be spin, hop, spin hopping around to make sure he dies. <laughs> anyway. That's it. I was very pleased to get to the end. Welcome to the end final. of the levels of the game. Really. So now I have 97%. And you get 3% for beating the final boss. There is only one thing left to do. And that is beat the final boss. So let's do this. Now, if you're looking at the clock right now, you might think... Blimey. Oh, hold so, on. Uh, 12051? Well, we're already an hour 20 in. What's going on here? This is, this is, this is... Legit, this boss is, is a joke. so quick, it's unbelievable. Okay, let's count, let's count off the hits here. So he's so running he's away, you've got to kill him. It's been there. There's what? one hit out of three. Now he just flies, he flies forwards a bit. He rejoins at a very predictable position. He swings under here, and this is where you spin again. Two. And now move up to the left. Timing stops upon the final hit. Boom. That is it. That is it. That's 1 hour 20, 51. Well, that <laughs> was incredible. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Oh, but there's plenty, there's pl there's plenty more we to see yet. We've got a whole oh, credits yes, roll. yes, we've got a credits roll. And, then and another, another credits, credits roll. roll. So, um, but timing has stopped now because timing stops at the last input uh, before the final cutscene, whatever it should happen to be. So Basically, uh, if I, uh, basically, upon the final hit of Cortex, if I put the controller down, uh, the game would resume at 100%. Which is so the definition. I, so I def so while I didn't choose to put the controller down, I chose to fly backwards to demonstrate a little glitch in the Cortex fight that allows you to fly backwards with the L1 button, uh, which is not actually supposed to be allowed. Uh, that doesn't count to the time because it's not relevant input, if you see yeah. what I mean. It's not at all assisted run where they have to end the input as soon as possible. So, uh, the game is now at 100% completion as soon as these credits are complete. I think... Well, I don't actually know when it when it hits 100% completion. We'd have to look at how the game is coded to do that. But, but regardless, we've done it. Well done. Yeah, that as, is far as, amazing. I, as far as I'm concerned, the game is done. Now, uh, so you might have noticed though. You say, hang on, 100%. This is the normal ending. You just had Coco staring up at the uh, cortex vortex and whatnot. It doesn't matter if you have all the gems before entering the boss. You have to beat Cortex in order to get the secret end. Yes. If you have 42 gems and not all of the crystals, you can't use the, pl the platform to go up, so it's, you can't get the best end. So, basically, that is uh, that is why I have to beat Cortex, and plus he's got the final 3%, so I need him. Anyway, yeah. it's not a best end speedrun, it's a 100%. So. That is all of the bosses, all of the crystals, all of the gems, and the five entrances to the secret warp room. Yep. Add up to make 100%. Uh, all yeah, it's all crystal, all gems, uh, uh, five secret warps and cortex. Those are the relevant things. Yeah. All of those added a little bit of percentage to the counter. And I did every single one of them. So there you go. That makes 100%. Now, as soon as these credits end, I'll be able to get the, get the secret ending just to roll the credits for the second time. Hooray. That is, love credits. That is just more proof of 100% effectively. If I can roll them, it means I have at least 98 without the secret weapons, without the two portals, but I did those. So, by definition, I have 100%. Absolutely. So, all very well and good. But these credits are taking their sweet time, so... They always do. Please bear with us. Do you have any credits you'd like to give? Uh... See my comments. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember off the top of my head. Anyway, Lots these are about people. to end. Um, now, I deliberately go for walking while talking. 
at the one frame edition, just to show you what it's actually like in the cutscene, because it doesn't matter at this point when you're having fun now. And I get it. So, this is what happens if you use walking while talking and don't close the cutscene. Brio's just telling us about how he's meant to laser to kill Cortex. Yeah, and you've done a brilliant job of getting all the gems. Well, nice, to hear it. nice to hear his hair done well. But I want to hit him out of the sky. So, as you can see, the... He's a bit incorporeal. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting that they've got the entire head coded, actually. Mm. That he can face the opposite direction and... Uh... Just in case, I guess. Yeah. Now, if you go This off, is quite fun. Yeah, if you go up with him still talking to you... Spins around. Wee. Wee. <laughs> and because I've uh, because ending. I've just done a rather strange ending, the music of the game has now vanished. <laughs> so we get uh, to see the final cutscene. The final credits now have no music, despite the fact that I didn't turn it off personally. Technically, I did by not closing the cutscene. Basically, what the game does for the cut for each cutscene is that it mutes the music first and then just plays the uh, cutscene to you. And then post the music back to its original value. But if you interrupt the cutscene without finishing it, basically, the music stays on zero and is not reset. And so. This results in the silent credit roll. And also a silent title screen, which is extremely hard to achieve. Because by default, the music is on when you boot the system. So, I, so I've let, no, I let the footage run all the way to the. Uh, all the way to the title screen again. So in the storyline of the game, we've just seen Brio destroy the Cortex Vortex, which happens to then fall on Uka Uka. That's for Crash 3, though. <laughs> which we're not doing. If which we're not doing. Crash 3 runs, look elsewhere. <laughs> uh, I don't really feel like doing one. It's the, the games are so different. The games are so different, and people don't really know. So what made you so, put Crash 2 in the first place, the speedrun? Crash 2 in the first place. Well, uh... Basically, uh, I'd seen uh, Trihex's original SDA run and thought it was quite cool that you could beat the game quite quickly like that, just by running through the levels and just playing cleverly. And then uh, a tool assisted run drew my attention. It wasn't the slide, 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 slide one by I've forgotten who made it actually. But uh, so uh, one, uh, one tool assisted runner called Piro Hiko, I believe his name is, he's a Japanese tool assister. Uh, made a glitched tool assisted run of the game where he gathered all 25 crystals in one go from Snowgo. Uh, but what was more interesting to me was the movement trick that was being used. It was the slide spin. And I thought immediately, because Trihex's original SDA run did not use this technique, I thought, like, oh, uh, well, how fast can this game be done? Well, so I tried slide spinning and I thought, yeah, this is cool. And then I read that uh, releasing the direction button uh, makes the slide spin even faster. And I thought, this is even more cool. Uh, so, after experimenting with the game a little bit, I just realised that it was really, really good for the speedrunning purposes, because you can play it so fast, you can skip all of the cutscenes and stuff like that, and I mean, this is... Oh, oh, oh my, we're being left at. <laughs> uh, anyway, back to what I was talking about. Uh, so, so basically, yeah, you can skip all the cutscenes and stuff like that, and this is something that you can't do in many games, such as Zelda speedruns. You never skip cutscenes in Ocarina of Time, you can't. Uh, and the text in the game is I, slow. I, I find it a really good one to run to watch. I don't know where you guys, you presumably are still here, but uh, it's yeah. it's really fast paced and good. So um, yeah. So basically, now we are done. I hope you've enjoyed our commentary. yes, indeed. Possibly a little more serious than last time's commentary. No. <laughs> so here is the silent title screen, and we'll leave you with this. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Goodbye. And um, yeah, see you all again. I probably won't upload another run of this uh, unless I get under 1 hour 20, but you can see, join me on my Twitch if you want to watch some live runs and stuff like that. And yeah, thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Crash Bandicoot 2. Cortex Strikes Back.